tutorial I'm going to talk to you guys about how to decompile MCP on a Mac for Minecraft 1.3.1. Um, what I will be showing you does work on Windows with a slightly different process that I'll be showing you. First off, thank you for um, thank you to the Bucket Daily and PS3 God Forever or the PS3 God Forever. I forget which one. Sorry about that. Um, uh, because in my last update video, I talked about how I was having difficulty unzipping a Minecraft.jar, and it and they helped me. I didn't know about a program called the Unarchiver, um, and they told me about it, and that helped greatly. Okay, so first off, you want to go to the MCP Downloads website, which can be found here. Um, I'll be sending, I'll be putting a link in the description of the video below, but you want to go to mcp7.x and download this, .zip, just hit download, download is starting. Okay, second thing, um, we will want to, okay, so since in, so if you have seen how to decompile for 1.2.5, I didn't use the Minecraft server.jar. Now, however, since they're sort of since single player and multiplayer are integrated, we will have to use it. So I'm going to go to Minecraft.net, log in, sign in. Anyway, go to download now, and then down here, you want to download the Minecraft underscore server dot jar. I've actually already got it downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay. Anyway, um, you want to also make sure you have a clean copy of Minecraft and you have Mod Loader. Um, Mod Loader, I'll put a link in the description. Hopefully, if you're making mods, you know how to install mods, in which case you will know how to get Mod Loader. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and minimize Safari and I'm going to pull up the MCP folder. So. This is our MCP folder, and what I'm going to want to do is I already created a folder um, for my 1.2.5 modding tutorials on my desktop called MC MCP. I'm just going to drag in this MCP70A, and now I can close this window. Anyway, um, you'll see we have basically the same stuff as for 1.2.5. You'll notice there's no bin, um, but that's about the only difference. Anyway, um, now what you'll probably want to do is go ahead and find all of your source. Um, I will be releasing my 1.2.5 modding series source code in a .zip file. Um, download link in the description if you want that source. There's no textures in there. Um, I only want to release the textures that I have previously released um, for because they are my own textures. So here's all of the source code. I will be putting a download link in the description. Anyway, uh, you'll want to find basically all of your source and your textures. Um, and the way you do that is you go into, in our case, MCP62. And then you go down, hit source, Minecraft, net. Minecraft, source, and then you'll see there's a bunch of Java files. Um, you'll, now, there will also be your code along with the game's code. So you can go ahead, copy your textures and your, um, your code. I'd recommend you put it all in a, um, in a source folder, not just for decompiling MCP again, but for um, for good, because it helps a lot. Anyway, if you're coming here uh, because you're just starting modding and you don't know how to decompile, you don't need to worry about source, but if you're coming here from my 1.2.5 modding series, go ahead and copy your source into a source folder. Anyway, um, also, I will not be covering how to update your furnace. You'll notice in this source folder I don't have well, I have the Red Furnace recipes.java, but I don't need that. Um, I don't have most of the Red Furnace stuff, and that's because there's a lot of stuff that has changed with the furnace 
So I won't be able to continue on with that um, at all, unfortunately, until I figure out these issues. Um, so the furnace source is in the source.zip. Uh, this source.zip, this is already a download link. Um, but I won't be covering how to make a furnace for 1.3.1 in a while. Anyway, so now that you've got all of your code um, put into a source folder, um, you want to make sure you have the correct jars. So the way you can find your jars is, first off, um, you want to bring in the Minecraft underscore server dot jar, and then you want to go into library, which is the hidden folder. So what you would want to do is go to your user, if you're using a Mac, um, and then hold down Alt and under Go, you'll be able to find it. I put a link to it in my favorites because I use it a lot. Um, if you are using Windows, most of this process is the same so far, except this will be in roaming, app data, whatnot. Anyway, go into Minecraft and copy the bin and resources. Copy that and paste it into jars. Make sure they're fresh bin and resources folders. Um, you can do that by renaming the Minecraft folder running Minecraft and then you'll have fresh ones. Um, now I have the model editor stuff for 1.2.3, I mean 1.3.1, sorry. Um, and what we're going to want to do is go into the jars folder under MCP7A. Go into jars, copy all this, and paste it into the jars folder, along with server.properties and servers.dat. Now we're going to go into bin, minecraft.jar. I'm going to do open with the unarchiver which is great. Um, extract to there. If you don't know how to use this program, really easy to learn. Um, okay, now I'm just going to delete that. And I want to go into mod loader and copy all of this. Go in here, bin, Minecraft, and paste it all in. Hit apply to all, replace. And if you're using Windows, the process is the same again, um, for the most part. And now, at this point, it gets a little bit different. So first, we're going to, now that we've got Mod Loader installed, it won't decompile unless the folder is a .jar. So we're going to want to hit Compress Minecraft by right-clicking on it and then, okay, now we can delete this. Now, just rename the .zip ending to .jar, use .jar, and you'll see it's a .jar archive. Um, now, what we're going to want to do is actually get to decompiling it. So I'm going to open up a program called Terminal. Um, you'll know this program if you watched how to decompile for 1.2.5. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and type in the command cd, change directory, and I'm going to drag in this mcp folder. Hit enter and it's changed to nothing. Message file or directory. CD. There you go, okay. I, I must have, met, oh, okay. I didn't put a space there. Anyway, um, hopefully you don't mess that up embarrassingly on a video that's going to go out to 300 some people. Huh. Um, and now what you want to do is you want to type bash and drag in this decompile. Oh, I did forget something. Go into bin. I'm going to unarchive minecraft.jar and minecraft server.jar. Um, and I want to delete meta underscore INF. It's not critical that you do, although it does save you some errors um, that won't affect anything, but they annoy me. 
so I'm deleting it. Drag in the Meta INF and same here. Um, if I can find it. Meta INF. Okay, now compress. Rename to dot jar, use dot jar, and same thing with this. Okay. Anyway, so once you've done that, you can do bash and drag in this decompile.sh. If you're using Windows, just double click on decompile.bat. Um, otherwise, if, if you're using Mac, this is the process. Not sure about Linux. So anyway, hit enter and it'll go through a long decompiling thing. Okay, so while it's decompiling, um, for the next bit, um, so a lot of the code is, actually most of the code is the same from 1.2.5 to 1.3.1. Um, However, there are some differences along with some new stuff that I will um, cover in later videos. Um, a lot of it is just renaming stuff because stuff got renamed, but there's also adding parameters due to the new um, blocks can drop experience orbs. Um, and so there's that. Um, and I'll cover fixing all of that in upcoming videos. Also, um, as I said earlier, I won't be able to cover furnaces anymore. Um, I'm, I'm having difficulty with that now. Uh, once I figure out the issues, then I should be able to do the furnace um, stuff. But until then, the furnace mini-series is sort of over. Um, Okay, so you'll see it's going through two errors found. It will usually say two out of two, hunks ignored, etc. Um, that's fine. If you don't delete meta INF, it would say something along the lines of 18 errors. Um, but otherwise, if you did delete it, it would still say two errors. Anyway, so it's done with the Minecraft dot jar, now it's going into the minecraft server dot jar and decompiling that. Now if you don't delete meta INF, there is some other stuff you need to do. Um, watch, if, if you haven't already watched my 1.2.5 decompiling, I didn't delete meta INF. And then you have to change some stuff and then run update md5s um, if you don't delete it. Anyway, the Minecraft server.jar shouldn't take quite as long as the Minecraft.jar to decompile, but it does take some time. Um, anyway. Okay, okay anyway, um, now it's recompiling and creating the the MD5 scripts, and you'll see 18 errors. Um, just, yeah. Anyway, um, now it's all pretty much set up. We can open up Eclipse. If you don't have Eclipse, I'd recommend you get it. It makes modding a lot easier. Okay, now we want to set the workspace to um, this, the MCP70A folder, Eclipse, and then hit Open. So it will load all of the workspace. And by the way, I'm using a newer version of Eclipse for those of you wondering. Um, yeah, okay, you'll see it's giving us 40 errors down here. Um, most of this is easily fixable. Just close Eclipse, go into the bin, and open Minecraft.jar. 
extract. Okay, and rename this folder to .jar. Add, and you'll see it stays as a folder. Now if we open up Eclipse again, MCP708. By the way, if you're wondering why anything on the computer looks a bit different, um, I did recently upgrade to the latest operating system. So that's why, if you're wondering. Anyway, now we just right click. Oh, no, we don't need to do that. It did it by itself in the background. So now what you want to do is go into your source folder and just copy everything and paste it in. And you'll see it's giving us a couple errors because I deleted the red furnace stuff. So, um, I'm recording in a slightly different way, um, QuickTime, the recording software I use updated, so I can record a small, a small area of the screen now instead of having to record the whole screen, but that makes Eclipse a bit crowded, unfortunately, so that's why it's like this. Anyway, I'm deleting all of the Red Furnace stuff. Um, if you followed with me with my 1.2.5 stuff. Okay, anyway, um, for a smelting recipe that we had, um, it's really easy since adding smelting, re since smelting recipes now have experience. Just at the end, you put the amount of experience, I believe. And there you go, the errors are all fixed. Um, most of the code, you'll notice, works now. So if I run Minecraft, then everything should still work. Um, also, if you, obviously, if you don't, um, there we go. So we spawned in a jungle. If you didn't watch my 1.2.5 modding, you won't have any code to copy. Um, so this stuff is all useless for you. So there's a couple errors. For example, you'll notice our tool isn't working. Um, but for the most part, everything is pretty normal. So anyway, you'll notice everything works. I'm going to show you our power lock and lever. Um, if I can find it. Here it is. Okay, so. Okay, so. You'll notice most of the code works just fine. Any different code I'll cover in later videos, um, but for now that's how you decompile MCP for 1.3.1 and you update um, your mod to 1.3.1 from 1.2.5. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.